Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is October the 6th, 2023, and it is Friday, and um, today we're doing a video for Mike in Elk Park, North Carolina. And this is a, uh, a mini truck that we recently imported. Um, first, before I get into that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps our search analytics. Only if you find value in the content, so that's the trade, but you also benefit with being notified. You hit, you hit, you hit um, not only subscribe, but also notification, and then you're notified when we post a video, and then uh, you'll see what just came in off the ship. The other video that we do are these ones where they're for an individual. And a lot of people really enjoy watching these because I'm told that they learn a lot from my videos, which it just blows my mind. But they're like, no, no, you point out things that are um, informative and educational. So I'm very glad to hear that. And uh, so let's get started. This is a 1993 Subaru Sambar. 4x4, four four, 5 speed with extra low first gear. It has 32,237 miles. And <clears throat> um, all Subarus are 5 speeds. All Subarus are 4 cylinders. Um, and all Subarus have an extra low first gear. And I mean the ones from 1990 and up. Uh, well, from 1990 to 1998, let's put it that way which are about the only ones you'll see us carry these days. Um, 1999s will start carrying maybe around March of 1999 because of U.S. Customs. Not to get into a whole bunch of details, but that's, that's the deal with that. So let's go ahead and let's video this vehicle that has its share of bumps and bruises. And uh, that is one of the reasons that we are so fastidious in our videography. We really try to point everything out. And that means effective communication has occurred. So that is just dirt there. Yeah, boy. sure. <clears throat> Made things good and dirty. That windshield washer or gasket rather, um, gets chalky, and its chalkiness is black. Okay, so the front of this vehicle is ding-free. Very, very nice. Here's the perimeter of the windshield. Looking good. Good looking front bumper too. We have a dent right there. We have scratches right there. Scratch there, there. That's grass, that's grass. <clears throat> we have some significant scratches on this bedside panel. <laughs> but interestingly, just one ding right there. These are paint scratches, not... Um, I don't, no, I don't... I, if it did indent the sheet metal there, it's very, very light indentation. <clears throat> Here's the bottom side of the bed. This is a location of the VIN number on a Subaru Sambar. Here's the bed. You do have some rust here. I'd say that's becoming more than surface rust, but um, a wire wheel on a drill would go a long way. And then just on a dry day, really get it good with some Valspar paint, some good quality spray paint. Now for the rest of the bed. It's 
scratched, but looking pretty good. The tailgate, engine cover looks great. The tailgate, let's see, has a ding right there. And uh, that's about it. Looks pretty good. Good looking engine cover. This is what I call a four washer truck, but it's not really in that condition. Usually a four washer truck is in remarkable condition, but this one is not. It's scratched up right there also, right there, there, on this side as well. Scratch there. But as far as damage, body damage, I don't really see any body damage, but I, I, I am showing you these scratches where the paint is scratched off. I think I showed you under here already. And here, coming down the door pillar or the door post. Um, there's some scratches right there, but that's it on this door. Looks good. Let's look inside here. We'll start with the door panel, the interior of the passenger door. Really, really nice. That's so pretty under there. This surface, I mean, that's barely bleeding right there. Man, look at those seats, aren't those pretty? Beautiful, beautiful. Stephanie is here, and I haven't even started my test drive yet. <laughs> All right, let me get started here. Um, also, before I do that, I want to show you the bottom side of this door. And under there, Looking really nice. Beautiful, beautiful seat. Very nice. Good looking ceiling. All right, so we're gonna take this for a test drive. So on these test drives, what we try to do is we want to get it up to speed so that we can um, so that we can see how it does at normal speed. Um, Mayberry mini trucks did get the law passed making mini trucks street legal in the state of North Carolina. Governor Cooper signed the bill into law, so you will get a title. There's no extra fees for anything. We don't charge a dock fee or processing fee or title fee or any games like that. And um, so if it says this truck is you know, $7,400, that's all you pay. I'm not sure what the price of this truck is, but my point is we don't have any extra fees. So this feels really good at 60 miles per hour. It's not, you know, feeling like it's pulling or gonna or shaking, stuff like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to pull around and go up that hill. That was a pretty steep downhill drive. 
which is nice because it, it's easy for me to get up to 60 quickly after I round that sharp turn. But what else is nice is now on the way back, it's a pretty stout test for seeing how it does going up a steep hill. So that's what we're about to do now. We're in fifth gear and it, you know, fifth gear is a gear for high, higher speeds on the highway, but we're actually going up a steep hill in fifth gear and maintaining 70 kilometers per hour, which is really, really good news because that means that the engine has good compression. Now, we're going 30 kilometers per hour, actually 28 kilometers per hour up that same hill. And let's see what this does remaining in fifth gear. Well, it is actually increasing in speed, which is remarkable. And that is a sign that the engine has very good compression and horsepower. You would never go 17 or 18 miles per hour in fifth gear up a steep hill. But the reason I'm doing this is just to show you what the truck will behave like in the most demanding circumstances. And this thing has done exceptionally well. And that's probably the most valuable part of the entire test drive. So now that we've gone back on the dirt road, I'll put it back in four wheel drive and um <clears throat> and just say that um you know i'm very pleased with the way this truck is performed on the test drive it um basically uh, you know it's got its bumps and bruises i think you know we've uh disclosed all that but interestingly even though it had all these scratches it didn't have any damage like dents on the side panels or the tailgate even so, um, who knows what the life of this truck was, but usually when it's scratched like that, it's got dense impressions, which this did not have just a few dings. It had one dent on the lower portion of the driver door, if I remember correctly. But anyhow, uh, this is a very nice truck, low miles. Everything we carry is low miles. That is uh, one of the most paramount things that we don't deviate from. We only buy trucks with low miles uh, because there's a correlation between low miles and reliab reliability or low miles and longevity. Uh, we use full synthetic oil. We just changed the oil in this with 5W30 full synthetic. New air filter, new oil filter. We check the front differential fluid, the rear differential fluid, the transmission fluid. And this doesn't have a transfer case, but if it did, we'd check the transfer case fluid level. And we also check the antifreeze level in the radiator, the brake fluid. And then we test drive it and make sure that it runs properly when it reaches normal operating temperature. We also check the heat to make sure it works. If it doesn't, we'll replace the cable, which is typically the problem uh, in this selector cable. And uh, we also make sure it runs properly when it reaches normal operating temperature. Make sure the four-wheel drive works. I think I just mentioned the operation twice, uh, the idle. And then we also, um, if, it, if the four-wheel drive doesn't work, we fix it. And things like, you know, if uh, the clutch slips, we replace it, right? Uh, that and the throwout bearing and the pressure plate. So we go through it and we bring the vehicle back up to the condition that we think it needs to be in. We don't just put a for sale sign on it and put lipstick on the truck and say for sale, it's so beautiful. We go through each truck um, with that mindset. And uh, so we hope that you find value in this video. Please again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also deliver, we charge $2.50 per mile one way. So if you're 500 miles away, then it's um, $1,250. Oh, I hope that's right. I think that's right. I think that's right. 1200 Because we had to raise our price on our delivery because the cost of diesel is just skyrocketing. And uh, I've really absorbed that so much for a long time. But I just can't because there's so many expenses. And we, we, tr we try to keep it as a nominal fee. Uh, so if you're 100 miles away, it's $250. There's some easier math. And um, then... Um, 
if uh, if you have a trailer, then by all means, we encourage you to come pick it up. And you bring four two-inch ratchet straps for a Subaru and three two-inch ratchet straps for all other trucks. So again, thank you for watching our video.